Piaf and the activity, turn the shoulder more. Keep him all the time a little bit in shoulder four. Or in shoulder four, he should be all the time, but a little bit more in shoulder in. Then you can close your outside aids. Then you can start to bend him in his middle. They need to bend in the middle, your horses. That's how you shorten them. Okay, that's good. Yes, and close your outside. It's a little bit like, that's good, and travel. And if he start piaffing, move him to the side and push him. Then he'll go through all the time. It's a little bit like you want to ride your horses with a feeling of an half pass. They don't need to do it, but they need to stay from your outside legs around your inside leg, and they need to stay connected on, you know what I mean, all the time. And you close your aids, more inside leg. That's good, yes. Yes, that's good. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow, slow it down. Yes, and quick behind. That way, that way. Then hold him a little bit. Yes, he's, he's getting a little bit too loose. He needs to get more connection through. Then you can push him through. Yes, that's better. Yeah, and push him to the side and ride on your inside leg. Yeah, give him a little tap. A little tap. Yes, that's good. And quiet, slow. Slow. Yeah, no, slow. Yes, bend him a little bit more inside and push him a little bit more to the side. Yeah, like that. Push him. Yes, that's better. Push him. Yes. You don't need to piaf like straight into your waist for now. You need to ride from your inside legs to your outside rein. Then you need to push him to the side and he'll bend. Into the bend, you get him to move more. Then you're going to be able to really push him through. Then when you get him to function that way, then you can move. To bend him. Yes. Then close your outside. Then collect him. Yeah, that's better. Then, and you keep pushing. Yes, and turn the shoulder. Yes. You need to get this feeling at your level, then you can enter into your piaf. Then when he goes a little bit in it, you can push his shoulder out, or you can go a little bit in. You always move them. Then that, that helps them to move their shoulder. And that's better. Then, yes, that's shoulder. Then tap him. Yeah. Good. Yes. You know what I mean? You need to push him. And if you push on your inside legs, then he goes to the side. Then he'll start to take movement on his front. If you don't do that, he's, he's, he's doing it, but he's way too slow. And he's not moving his shoulder. Then start to feel like you can go from that to the trot. Yeah. Turn the shoulder, then trot. Yes. Trot. Yes. Good. Soft hands. Yes. Ah, that's better. Then start to take it back a little shorter. <coughs> then forward. The same work into your piaf. Push him uh, in your passage. Push him to the side. Then ride. That way. Yes. The bigger. Yeah. Though. Then push to the side. <coughs> bigger. Yes. Then soft. Yes. Like that. Yes. You know what I mean? Then you trot normal, soft hands. Yes, and you do that again. You gotta work into the incurvation. You need to bend them around you. That's better. Then, yes, and move him to the side. Go. Yeah, go. No. Yeah, you're good. That's good. Yes. Then, that's better. Do you feel it? Yes, and you trot. Yeah, that's good. Then do that again. Over and over. Then when you start to get your passage more active, start to take it back shorter <coughs> and move him to the side. You're good there. That's what you need to do. You need to move him all the time a little bit out, a little bit out. Then you can ride to your outside rein, then bend him into your aids. Yes. <coughs> That's better. Good. Good. Then trot normal, then change direction. and Give him a little break. He's nice. It's like uh, he's just like ready to do that much quicker and much bouncier and much more into your bending line. Much more from your inside legs to your outside rein 
and you need to become soft, softened into your hands, then you can put it together. Like it's a little bit, to my taste, it's a little bit too much against you this way. Yeah. I want him to give a little bit more, to get a little bit softened. You know what I mean? But soften and rounder, like you can push him through. Then don't let him be against you, like turn the shoulder, then ride on your inside legs. And when you start to feel like you can ride on your inside legs, push him into the passage, make a big passage at the beginning, like he goes through, then start to shorten him up. Then when you get that big passage and you shorten him up, if you keep turning, you should be about to enter into your PRF, just bounce, bounce, then move out again. But always turning and always moving to your inside legs, to your outside rein. And you can close your outside. And you bend them. They become shorter because we bend them in the middle. Okay? So they need to be more flexible. They need to turn better. And they need to go through better. Yes, and you walk slow with your legs on. Like close your legs. Like you envelop him into your legs. Like he stay. It's like... Think like you want to make an half pass, but you don't let them make an half pass, so you close them into your legs, then they'll come under. Yes, and close you outside. Then you can start to take it back shoulder. That's good. Tap him. Tap him a little bit. Then you make a big... Yes. Yeah, and turn. That, yeah, and push him. Yes, that's good. That's what you need to do. You need to move... Yeah, that's better. Do you know what I mean? You need to keep, yes. Then turn, yes. Bending him a little lateral. Yes, exactly, always. always. And you can do it anywhere you want. And when you do your, your passage, you can do it. That's good. That's Isabel verse. It's not me. That's how she writes them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then that makes them shoulder going much more this way. Then you can really push on your inside leg. And you really get them, yeah, and close your outside, that's good. Yes, that's good. It doesn't matter. Then you just go to your trot. Yeah, then trot. Yeah, that's better. That's good. That's what you want. Then you think about your bend and relax. Yes, good. Good, close your outside. You're good. That's what he doesn't really accept it. He's not staying enough. To your outside ace is not bending enough to your inside. This is better though. That's good. Now close. Yes. And forward passage. Close. Yes. Close. Good. And forward. Yes. Good. There. And turn. Close your outside. You're right there. That's what you need to do. He's way too rigid and he's not bending enough into your aids. Yes. And so often. Close your outside. Close your outside. Yeah, and slow. Yeah, slow. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's good. Soften. Yes. Yes. That's better. Yes. Then you go. So you repeat often. Don't stay too long. But really close your aids. Like start to feel like it comes into your aids. Then we can relax. And into passage with a rounder and lower neck. You know what I mean? Yeah. You need to come through more, through, through. That's better. Yeah, through, soft. Then you put, yes, and soft it. That, that's good. Yes, then pat him. Then trot no more. Soft hands. Yes. Good. That's good. That's what you need to do, okay? You don't need enough. Bend, you, you need more bend to you inside at home, then he'll give more and he connect more to you outside. That looks better. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. And a big passage. And you're right on your inside leg. Then you're right. Then you're right. Yes, that's good. Then you're right. Good. Good. And trot again. Then relax. Yes. Good. Then pat him and give him a little break. So I want him a little bit rounder and a little bit softer into your hands, okay? A little bit lower, more in charge of the neck, and more through. Yeah, like that. You know what I mean? Then that will get you his back way better. Then you'll be able to bring him up and put him really through, okay? 
he's, he's doing it, but it's, it's more like that's the beginning of everything. You need to really feel like you can push it through, make him rounder, deeper, and softer into your hands. Ah, that's good. Yeah, like that. And you need to do that a lot. And when you do it, start to bend him into your legs more. Think about the middle of your horse all the time. Like he'll give in the middle. Then you can connect him. Then you can go to your counter work a little bit. And you counter work. Start to do some uh, bigger, smaller stride and start to do some uh, pirouette preparation. And do on the side you like. Try to make it softer to your inside, connect it to your outside, a long inside hind leg. Control the shoulder. Then think about collected as to match with suppleness. Okay? So supple him when you collect him, then you can relax again. And you need to think about his inside hind leg in the kennel. So when you're ready, yeah, jump. Think about his knees. Have foot on your outside. There, that's good. Then soft. Yes, and push him through. Yes, you, you need to get me more shoulder up and more knees action. More up in the knees and forward. Yeah, that's better. Then forward, that's good. Then forward, a little bit more, a little bit more speed. There, that's better, yes. And that's what you need to feel. You need to keep him into that rhythm. Then you need to get the shoulder. Then every time you go through your corner, Think of a quarter of a pirouette. Then you move forward. Then you move. Yes, good. Then back again. Then forward. Yes. Every time you take it back, ride harder with your seat. Every time that, that I can start to see that every time he collects, he comes quicker behind. Quicker behind. Quicker. Yes. That's good. Shorten and quicker, quicker, quicker. Yeah, then go forward. Good, and back again. Quicker, quicker. Yes. Help him a little bit by putting his hunches in because he gets stuck behind. So let him have his hunches in a little bit in your collection. There, then, do you feel that? Then you turn the shoulder again. So you're always in charge of the hind leg no matter what. You need to push that inside hind leg under. Help him. Yes, good, good. That's better. And relax. Good. Help him again. Hunches. Yeah, then go forward. Good. That's nice. And you can pick me a small diagonal, make some changes, whatever you want. Do. Yes. And push on it. Good, yeah, it can be a little bit more through behind, that's okay. Then forward and do the same, that's nice, yes. Forward and back and all the time. Yeah, that's good, but that's better on that side. Then go forward. Yes, and forward under control. You the one to feel, he move his shoulder up here, up here. The knees is important. Then you collect, then you push. Good, good, super, that's good. Yes, then again. Then you push. That's good, good. Yes, that's good, yes, exactly. That's what you need to do then. Push him through. Yes, and you turn the shoulder again. Then you can make a circle. Make a circle, a big circle. Then put him in an half pass position on your circle. Then you come soft inside, supple him, make him give a little bit, a little rounder, then push him through. Then push him to your hands, more hunches in now. Then come into a, like a pirouette. Then push that, push that, push that, and soft inside. That's nice. Yes, then push it. Yeah, bigger. Yes, good, bigger. That's nice. Now get out of that. Shoulder in, forward. Forward, yes. Good, and you can give him a little break, go back to your trot, push him. Good, yes. Then bend him. Yes, you need to work much more on bending line with him. You know what I mean? 
You need to stay much more slow into his neck. Good. Yes. Good. That's nice. That's good. Then go back to work. Give him a little break. That's good job. That. That's good work. Especially into your collection, like he's coming more slow. But uh, what you have to be careful is like you need to give much more into his neck and much more slow. He's all the time a little bit like, yeah. I go against you. So if you can fix that, then you will get a different level of throughness. He'll become much more through and much more rideable. So you need to become a little bit more supple into his neck, a little bit more bendable around your inside leg and feel like you can really push him through in it, then he'll come there. Yeah. That's nice. Like a little rounder, a little deeper all the time and softer. Like not against you. Then you can do all your piaf and all your passage work with a rounder and a little bit downward feeling. Then you can do that. Then you'll be able to push their hind leg much more into your hands and their back. Then that's better. Though. Yeah. Good. Yes, that's good. Yeah, into your leg. There, then pat him. That's good. Yes. Good, and turn him. Push him out. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That's good, that's good though. Yeah. Good. Yes. So it's important with him because he need, he need to move his shoulder better and to get out of it. You know what I mean? He stayed too much here. He need to sit and to move his shoulder out. That's good. That's good. Close your legs. That's good. Yeah, and soft hands. Then push him. Then move him to the side. That's better. That's better. Yes, so fun. That's good. Yes. That's better. Quiet. Yes. Good. Like you can... You can start to feel like you can put him a little bit on the spot and move him out or in into his shoulder. Like you, that's what you want to do. That's like you need to get shoulder control and you need to get much softer into your hands. Like you need to be able to move him in a little bit and a little bit out, a little in a little bit and out. Then you keep moving like that. Then that's going to start to bounce his shoulder more. Okay? Yes, and when you start, close your legs and slide your legs back. Then you have like more Q. Yes. Soft hands. And travel. Travel. Yeah, travel. You need to figure it out. Yes. That's good. Yes. Good. Yes. Forward and back and not pulling you. Let him be a little bit more up and, uh, and lighter at the beginning. Then you round him up after. Make him uh, more up. Yeah, turn the shoulder. That's okay. Yes. And, yes, and trot. Yes. Then tap the hind leg. That needs too much out. Yes. Then back again. Then so Yeah, that's okay. Just like you need to do that until he'll stay into his back. Like when you change things, he's going to be lost a little bit. Like turn the shoulder, then push him to the side. Yeah. Then soft, then again, slow, yeah, and then bigger, that way, yes, slow, then bigger, yeah, constantly, like it needs to be more rideable into, yes, good, good, that's better, yes, and the bend. Good. Yes. Good. Slow. Yes. And trot. Easy. And when you trot, don't let him get, like, don't feel like he goes down there. You need to stay and carry himself from his hind leg. Yes. Up and soft. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. And trot. And he stay balanced. Yeah, that's good, pat him. 
So you need to do that better, okay? You need to stay much softer into your hands and let you ride him forward and back. And much more adjustable. And the softer way. Then when you walk like that, feel like you can almost stop. You need to, you need to stay engaged onto his back. That's, that's mainly what is a little bit against you because he's not through in his back. So get him, get him to walk and walk and almost stop. And close your legs. Yeah, then walk, then walk. Then relax, that's okay. You don't need to do, you don't need even to sing Piaf. You need to feel like he stay forward. Then you can make it shorter. He'll come to your aid, then you soften. Repetition is the key of the whole thing. That's good. And walk again. Yeah, that's good. And soft. Then you can put him in a ground there position and make a circle. Like a short circle, a small circle. Bend him to the right, send his inches to the right, and turn to the left. Then let, let him stay there into your collection. Yeah, and walk really slow like that. That's good. And put your legs on it. Yes. Like you start to feel like the movement is working for him. Like he becomes shorter because it's, he's in his round there position. You know what I mean? Then you can push your hind leg under. Then he can start to carry himself. Yeah, make a circle like that, a small circle, like a really small circle. Yeah, like that. Good. That's good. Yes. They need to give it to you. You don't need to go and get it. You need to feel like he comes into your aids. Then he's ready to do it, like he's the one who's going to give you the piaf. Like, it's just like, you keep him into your aids. Yes, you put your legs on it, soften your hands. Then turn the shoulder, send his inches out, turn the shoulder, right on your inside leg. That's better. Then when he's there, just tap him a little bit with the whip. Like a little. That's better. Yeah, and keep him in it. That's good. Good. You feel it? Yeah. Then, rela then relax. That's better. Then what? Yes, that's better. So that's because he's still much more sitting, because you make the movement works for you. You know what I mean? It's not like we don't keep him against you, against your aids. He needs to turn, then you get him shorter, bend him to the outside, and get his inches out, then he stays shorter, then he comes into his body, then when he's ready, soften your hand and go, then he'll bounce. That's a better PR for you. Yeah, and travel, and turn, like sink and run there all the time. Yes. Good, that's better. Yes. You know what I mean? Then he'll stay. Then you can soften everything. Then he stay into your legs, he will do it on his own. Then all you need to feel is like you can quicken him up or you can quiet him down. Okay? It's all about bending them into your aids. If they bend into your aids and you figure out how to keep them, then they can start to come together. Okay? That's better. Then you can do the same on the other side. It's like, just feel like with not a lot of pressure, just like a good round there, like bend him to the outside, turn the shoulder, send his inches out, and put your legs on it. Like squeeze your legs quietly, and your legs back a little bit. Then let him come together, that's better that. So the more you ride, the more through. You know what I mean? That's better. Yes, and soft. Then turn, turn his shoulder, send his inches out. Then collect him. Then use your voice. Slow, slow. Yeah, close your outside. That's good. Slow, slow. Yeah, let him. That's better. Yes. Like so, don't even think about it. Close your legs and wait. Close your legs. That's it. Yeah, and give him a little tap or a little kick. Yes, that's good, yes, then quiet, yes, then you can change side, like you just make him like a game like that, then you start to get their hind leg really under, then you start to get their back, then it start to be into your weights more, yes, turn now, slow, good. 
That's better behind. Good, you feel it? That'll get him that'll get them much more bouncier and much quieter. Yes, and so fun. That's good. Then keep turning, that's the key of the whole thing. Like just keep turning and soften. Then close your legs, then go like then it goes once. Ah, oh, that's better. Good, pat him. That's good. You feel it? That w- that's much more on his back and much more on his hind leg. Then you can soften your hand and let him go quietly. Yes, quiet. Yeah, keep him into your legs. Yes, good. Then pat him, then walk. Good. So you can do that on one side, then you do the other side, then you move them. Nice and quiet into your weights. But bottom line is like they need to bend into your legs. They need to bend in the middle to become shorter. Then this one needs to be a little bit rounder and a little bit softer into your hands. Not, not low, low. Like the lower you go, it's at the nose of your horse at the same point of his shoulder. But he needs to be more giving into his neck. Because if you get the neck a little bit more softer, and a little bit more giving, then he's more through in his back. Then when you get him there, then you can put him back up a little bit. Then when you train horses, you don't train only on one side. You need to be able to get him really round and really deep if you want, like nice and soft, or you can bring him really high up. Like you are, you after his hind leg and after his back. What I like when you do your round there is much more articulate behind and much more through. He's much more flexible. So he's much more like starting to sit and start to carry more. Then he can develop more movement in the front. You know what I mean? Then if you do it like uh, holding and pushing, then he start to crash this way. Then you have no hind leg. Then they're not bouncing this way. Okay? So a lot of work like that. And really round and really soft. Then you're going to just go back to work a little bit and make him really deep. Then you make him come back. And when you take with your hands, he should come into your passage. Then you move his hand on a longer and rounder frame. Like you, yeah, you need to trot. Feel like you can trot as slow as you can. Like you close your legs and take with your hands. And you need to come back slow, then bounce, and you move forward again. That's nice. Like you have much more forward giving hands. That doesn't mean it, it crash into your hands. You know what I mean? You need to give. It's just like, like if you make it that way, it can be amazing. If it goes through, you know what I mean? It's, it's a little, yeah, and soft. It, it's a little too much all the time against your hands. So there, that's better. Yes, and try it. Now make him supple him. Make it looser into your hands. Yeah, you need to get longer without grabbing you. There, that's better. You know what I mean? Then you can push him through. He's way too much like he grabs you, then he goes on your hands. Yeah, and, and feel like you can trot easy. Then if you take with your hands softly, like take with your hands, then he'll bounce, then you go easy again. That's good, and relax. Like much more like a game. Like, like don't even, don't pay attention really of him passaging. So think about swinging. Give with your hands. Like a bouncy feeling. Trot a little more. Yes, that's good. And now take softly and make him come back to you. Take. Yeah, and when he bounces, soften and move again. See, like when I'm to it, it's like, he need to feel to me like he's much more rideable in a soft way. You know what I mean? Like you did a good job, but you're a professional and you do half of his job for him. It's not our goal to do his job. You know what I mean? You need, you need to set it up. Then you ask him once and he'll do it. But you don't keep like asking more and more or make him do it because it's you. He need to do it. That's better. That. You need to do it in a softer way. You don't need to ride every stride. And that's what is difficult at your stage. It's like we know how to do it, so we always get on their case. 
You need to feel like he's soft. That's good. Then relax. Then you trot. And like he has a bouncy feeling in your hands. Yes. Then if you take with your hands, close your legs. Then you take. That's good. Yes, that way. Then you trot again. You know what I mean? You don't need to stay too long in it. You need, you need to feel like it's rideable, like very softly. Then you relax. Yes. So your goal is to feel like you can set him up. Then we leave them alone. Then they can do whatever we tell them to do, but not holding them in spot. That's better. That. That's good. Then take it back. Yes, then relax again. That's good. Then you ride again forward. That's good. Good. Yeah, that's nice. Then back. That's good. Yeah. Yes. Then so. Yes. Good. Then you go again. That's good. Good. Then come back to walk soft and easy. So that's what you, your goal should be. It's like to feel like he's always through, and if you touch him with your hands a little bit, he'll come back, he'll bounce, and you go easy again. Okay? Yes. Like he start to be contained into your aids more, and you can close your outside. That's really nice. Yes. Yes. Good. Like, think about the expression. Like, you also has to, to be set up, then he need to express himself, and not, not us all the time controlling and controlling. That's good. Yes. Good. Then you can go back to work and pat him. That's good. Then the more you write like that, the softer it will become, and the easier it will be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just spend time on that, because if you... You, you have two paths. So he's going to stay all of them against your hands a little bit. Then he's going to have difficult transition from Pierre to Passage. He's going to be against you all the time a little bit. Or you ride through like that, then it becomes softer and softer. Then after you don't, every time you take a little bit with your hand, then he'll start bouncing. It's like your goal is to feel like when you take with your hands, his hind legs are become quicker. They're not crashing against you. That's why you do all this little transition. Like you trot, and it's really soft. Then you take a little bit, close your legs. He'll come back, he'll bounce, then you go again. Then he become much more elastic and much more through and rideable. He look really good, though. Thank you. So what...